Hello again. We're back here to give you another reading from God's Word concerning this very precious and important week of our Christian faith. We're in John 12, and we're talking about the Son of Man must be lifted up. The Word says, Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servants be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. After Jesus had said this, he departed and hid from them. There is so much in these scriptures, and I really hope that you take the time to discuss this with your family, because there is so much for you to draw in, especially with the things that we're facing in the world right now. When he talks about the grain must die, each and every one of us need to realize that for us to live eternally with Christ, then we have to die to ourself. And while we have this light, because there is coming a day in this world that the light is not going to be here anymore. The church is going to be taken out of the world. So if you're listening to us today and you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, take this time while the light is still in the world. Find the light. Come to Jesus. We love you very much. God bless you.